another, the other the camera. You know. in Washington DC. I don't have a major right now but uh, I'm doing pre-med which is pre-medicine and trying to explore so many other courses and trying to see what kind of courses interest me. As Kalt mentions about the importance of interest, right? So that's kind of the highlights of universities in the United States. Okay, so first I would start off with Pesperlozzi because I know here we have students who are going to be 10th grade, right? So how many students are here who are going to be new 10th grade? No, they are 10th grade, 11th and 12th. Yeah, so they haven't given, some of them haven't given the 10th board exam, right? So you still have the uh, opportunity to apply for United World Colleges or Pestilency, right? So, yeah, I think we as a Tibetan, we have this very huge opportunity before us and it totally depends on us whether we try to grab it or not. And I think the first step starts from whether you give your best shot in your board exam. Um, in my case, um, uh, I think top 20 students were only allowed to apply for facility. So obviously you have to do really good in board exam in order to be able to sit in the class and give the entrance exam for facility, right? And, um, for Pestilus, I would basically talk about Pestilus because uh, I got into Pestilus as well. And uh, Silva already gave his uh, talk about UWC, right? And um, Pestilus, uh, we have to give two entrance exams, I guess, reading and writing. Um, and then you have an interview. You don't have to worry about your Tibetan skills, I guess. And um, uh, I think you need to give a very good English um, test because last time I went to help one of the education coordinator who was giving an uh, exam in the uh, Sherik uh, office and she asked me to check some of the papers and uh, because she won't take all the papers to England, right? So she just threw away all the papers that weren't up to the cutoff level, okay? So you have to give a good English test. And in interview, it's far more simple than the UWCs because for UWCs, I guess, um, Tibetan officers, they take the interviews, right? But for Pestilozi, um, people from Pestilozi village itself, they come here and they take the interview. And you don't really need to learn anything because it's all about you and you just have to be honest and you just have to be frank that doesn't, there's no place for you to be hesitant because everything you have to say is honest and um, one thing I would really stress is you need to learn a little bit about England or Pestilus because that's the place where you're going to and I'm pretty sure they won't really like people who don't know, the, don't know anything about a the place they are willing to go, right? So maybe it would be really good if you learn something about the place that you are trying to go or obviously to UWCs as well. Uh, personally, I uh, gave an interview for Costa Rica and I didn't know anything about Costa Rica so I think that, that might be the reason that I got the remarks. Um, so I would totally recommend you to learn something about that place. And then yeah, so those who get into Pestilose, then what happens in Pestilose is it's a place where you will meet people from different parts of the world. 
Uh, it's not that elaborate as UWC, but it's a beautiful place. Uh, they are trying to get people from different parts of the world. But uh, when I was there, we had Zimbabwe. We had students from Zimbabwe, Zambia, and uh, India, and Nepal, and Tibet. Mm, Tibet being us. And uh, so we do international baccalaureate. Um, we do creativity, action, service, everything that Seba said earlier. And um, we had so many things that so many opportunities that I could have never got here in India. I got to do expedition, six hour walk in forest with a compass and a map. We have to try to find our own way to the destination. Uh, we did the Duke, Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award where we did six months of physicals, three months of skills, three months of um, some kind of social services, and um, we did model United, uh, United Nations, where we went to King's College, which is one of the prestigious universities in uh, England, where we, uh, in, in, because we are just high schools, right? But we went there to interact with people from universities like Oxford, Cambridge, so which was a really good platform for us to basically interact with them. And um, other than that, uh, International Baccalaureate itself is a very, very hectic course. And, um, and obviously, you have to be really hardworking. I would say the key to success in International Baccalaureate course would be hard work. I don't really give much importance to intelligence, to be honest. Uh, obviously, it does help. But intelligence without hard work isn't really the thing, you know. Okay, so um, so hard work is really important. And the first year is basically trying to fit into the country and doing the international baccalaureate course. And first year becomes a very important year uh, because when you apply to um, the universities. What they would do is they would take your uh, take your scores into account uh, during your first year, and they give they would give a predicted grade because uh, the results for your uh, uh, admissions into the universities would be already done before your final exam. So the professors would just give you a predicted grades based on the scores that you get in your first year. So the first year becomes a really important year for you if you get into International Baccalaureate College. And, um, and extracurricular activities becomes a very important thing. Um, I would say it, in, in Western education system, they give far more importance to outdoor education than in, in class education because we learn more through the experience that we go through outdoor. Uh, and then, um, and the second year, what we would do is we would basically start off with our college applications. And um, uh, during a summer break, it is totally recommended for you to do some social services. I did a volunteering as a physiotherapist assistant in Yoga, uh, yoga School, right, in Dehradun. Uh, and I wrote my essay on my experience in that school. Um, so it's totally recommended for you if, if you need a good topic for your um, essay or obviously it's totally up to you if you want to write anything like from past in your life. And then SATs, okay so this is a very big thing, SAT, I'm not really good at SAT. 